Hey guys, Pleshy here and welcome to Black Desert Online. Yay, my very first video for Black Desert Online. <laughs> One thing that I need to remind you guys about this video, if you're looking for a guide on how to build your shy, if you're looking for an expert player explaining about the shy and whatever else, all I can say is thank you for coming and watch this video, but most probably not meant for you because I'm by no means any expert in video. This is pretty much my personal first impression of the Shy, the first support class in Black Desert Online. So the race itself is called Shy, and I guess the class is called Shy as well. I don't know. Maybe uh, the Shy race can only do Shy things. <laughs> so just to clear things up, the Shy is not a kid. The Shy in the lore. It's actually 30 years old when she found the this glowing lantern thing, and and Shy lives for hundreds and thousands of years, and so it's just that they're small. They're pretty much small people, just like hobbits. Let's call it like hobbits. There's, they have small stature, but they're adults. So for those of you who think weird things about the shy then you go and be weird yourself hmm. right so that thing is out of the way into the first impression of the shy so one of the things that um that the shy got is a donkey at this stage she can only ride a donkey wow my character looks weird at night it's so scary hey donkey hi donkey my donkey looks like the one in shrek i guess old donkey looks like sorry donkey i'm not trying to be racist she she wiggles she can also do this and she can do that this character is very um how do you call it very satisfying to to play not only because not only because she uses boomerang well i live here, i live in australia so uh, boomerang is kind of like a natural treasure <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's like a national national weapon or something. But not, even that is not true. It's not like um, everyone in Australia knows how to use boomerang. No, we don't. Okay, so her basic skill is just that pretty much a melee attack. So that's a swing swing. Um, so that's pretty well, it's your basic attack, right? There's nothing else to it. So directional key, so this is the hop, just like your normal movement. One trick that I learned from my friend, um, if you want to move fast with the shy, is so if you move forward, do use your dash and number one, dash, number one, dash, number one. It gives you that extra range for some reason. I don't know. I like it. I like the way it looks. I like the yeah, how fun it looks. The next one will be the tuck and roll. So this is what the tuck and roll looks like. It's pretty much tuck and roll. This is what the go away looks like. This is the kick. You see, you see that animation? Yeah, I think I'm I'm one of those weird people who play games only based on how good the animation looks like, how enjoyable the character is playing. Like, look at that, it's so satisfying. I feel like, I feel like that's how I'm gonna kick. Fighting is so enjoyable in Blackers Online. I can tell you that, hands down. And so far, I'm really enjoying how the Shy is doing. All right, moving on to the next skill. Play that, well, play that. This is a, a shortcut skill, so you have to put it on a shortcut or else you will not be able to do it. So pretty much you're just playing that. Eh. The scary thing is her eyes actually still open. Sprinkle Sparkle, at this stage, is, is sort of like a hit and miss um, skill, I think. It's pretty, it's not, it's not as easy to use and obviously enemies when you're talking about PvP, uh, PVE, like n not many enemies have the um, have any MP or SP or whatever else that you, they're using that actually benefits from this skill, because this skill is supposed to be drains out your MP or energy and you know your stamina and all those things, right? 
so I think it works more on the uh, PvP side of things. Um, and here's an example of me testing this skill with my friend. She's a fully geared witch. Where the hell is that? You tell me to come up here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Come and then here. I and then Behind I forgot. Behind you. Down here. Oh yeah, of course. What an idiot. Here. I was there. I, I will not be able to see the um the effects. I'll just tell you. 644 right now. That's my SP. Okay. So if I... 580? So that's 60... That was a miss. Wow, that was a miss? Oh my gosh. And yeah. I still have to... And I... <laughs> okay, here's the thing though. And I have you to have strafe couple, as well. You have a couple factors to add into this, alright? First is level, second is gear. Yeah, if you don't have good Third gear, then definitely. And... You're 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 looking at a really heavily geared mystic. You're... All right. <laughs> okay. So if I hit there, will that hit you? No. Okay. So if I hit here, does it? Okay. So that's pretty yes. close. So I think that hits. Five eighty. Okay. All right. Let, I'll 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 give you a regen for a bit. Soon after. All right. Stay there. Stay there. I wanna test okay. this out. Okay, so on PvP you can actually hit the body. Okay, cool. All right, so it doesn't at least at least it doesn't go through the character. Um, so that's okay. So it's sixty per hit. So it doesn't matter whether um, I hit you right on you or next to you. It's still. Yeah, but the range for next to you is really low. The yeah, AOE so is so pretty much I have to hit like like there or there. Can I? Can we test the um, you as an as an ally? <laughs> yeah. Can I? Can you invite me to your party? We gotta hold still first. Now let's let's drain your SP. <laughs> That's not gonna be so easy. Uh... Many unbearable hours later. There you go. Okay. Fifty six. All right, so I'm just gonna try and. Oh wait. Okay, right, can I hit you with? No, it doesn't hit. Nope, doesn't hit. How much is 100. that? One hundred. One hundred. One hundred. Just about one hundred. Oh yeah. Okay. So we're gonna be testing it out. So at the moment the SP is very low, and her um, SP regen is like 20. So let's do go to stance, and just we just have to keep looking at the. Um, so you pretty much have to do it like really close to the to the person because if you do that, it will just go through them. And obviously that one is wrong. Okay, so that's pretty full. So another tricky thing with this skill is if you want to help your friend regen their MP or SP or whatever P, you have to make sure that it actually hits your friend first before it hits the enemy. And seeing that Black Desert is actually a grinding fest so your friend most probably is always gonna be surrounded by lots of enemies and the sprig of sparkles skill will most probably gonna be hitting the enemy first before it hits your friend and that will cancel out the regen because it already registered the skill to the enemy first so yeah, it's, it's quite tricky so most probably they have to get out of the fight and stay still for a bit and and you can do your thing. Twirl. Uh, this is my favorite um, skill. So with the with this with this skill, the interesting thing about this skill is, uh, so you, your flooring will follow wherever your mouse cursor is pointing at. If you're directing your boomerang on that one spot, then it will just stay on that one spot until it comes back, right? No matter how. Like, like so. 
But if you do, for example, you want to do a round trip, you can do it as well. Let's do that again. In case you don't see that, I'm going to put it on slow motion. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then we have this out of my way, literally. So this skill, um, if you look at the, if you look at up here um, on your health bar, and then there's these three leaves. This energy accumulates when you're actually using the skills. Um, and so if you have these three skills, um, so what it does is if you press space, there you go, out of my way. So that will push um, enemies back and also gives you AP. Right on to the next one, which is the one, two, three. So pretty much this is, what am I doing? Pretty much this is just a you holding right mouse button and then you just hop three, which is the backwards and left mouse button. Right, so this is one of the things that I use quite a fair bit. Uh, that is the back and right mouse button. So you sort of like jump back um, as well as hitting the target. So her shift and left mouse button is something like that. It's a very long distance shot. Um, probably if that's your target, probably you want to do it from here, thereabouts, and then you can hit it. Uh, I don't know how me how much me how many meters that is, <laughs> and her last position is so cute. <laughs> Look at this. Ta da! <laughs> and eat <it> this. <laughs> it sort of like can stun and knock people out. Okay, so her healing skill, uh, the basic healing skill is E. That one goes for 60 seconds, um, 200 for 60 seconds, so you get 12,000 heals. So the cooldown is a minute, so you can only heal like every minute, so hopefully in, in that minute there's no one attacking you. Or if someone actually does, then you have another skill to heal yourself, which is the Shift E. Now that uh, is a bigger heal. Um, it does 700 heal per tick and you have 3 ticks. There's only 2100 uh, heals, but that is uh, a much larger heals. Okay, so onto the um, onto another skill, which is the come out, come out. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called. <laughs> this is, by the way, is she moves on herself. All right, I didn't move her. Totally move on its own. Like I, I don't. So whenever you use that skill, she will just move forward slowly and just prancing about. That's not not much else to it. It says you can attract nearby enemies, so most probably you can take aggro from your friends, I think, maybe? Ooh, I don't know. So we're gonna test this out and see how far is the range for the, the skill. Yeah, so the area of effect is actually a little bit bigger than the, uh, than the one that's shown over here, so even though the the circle is a little, it's only that much, but actually takes a whole lot more than that as well. So let's do another test uh, and see. Yeah, see, it's it's actually quite a lot. It's actually quite a fair bit because the area is pretty big as it is. Wow, I didn't actually expect it to be that big. So yeah, there you go. Um, scientifically proven that it's actually. Um, the area of effects is actually pretty big. So pretty much this is just a bubble uh, to protect you from projectiles, from outside um, damage, I think. I mean, I never tried it before, uh, but it has a five minutes cooldown. And so when, when you're in it, you get super armor and your friends will be able to be protected from all the damage from outside. Alright, so all in all, if you're looking to play shy, don't be shy to uh, put all to level up all the skills that you have. No pun intended. 
at least you can max out all the attacking skills and then you can keep all the remaining points or whatever points that you're gonna be getting in the future you can just then leave them all for the for when the awakening comes first impression of the shy for me I like it I super like it um, the reason being because I always love support classes and her skill is very satisfying to use it's amazing it moves it has amazing sound it gives you that clunking noise <laughs> for every hit so that makes me happy and it's just so satisfying to use for me as I mentioned earlier animation the way it looks and everything is very important for me in the game that makes me enjoy the game a whole lot more because I'm not I'm not the type of player who wants to get the best gear the highest AP and you know the best of everything for me to be able to do that that would be great of course who doesn't want it right you want to be the, the best in the game but if I don't enjoy the game itself then what's the point for me so far I enjoyed the, playing the shy it's amazing it's amazing class even though I'm, people might say that she's a little bit out of place um, at this stage even though I personally feel so as well uh, she's a little bit out of place because all the other characters are pretty much self sustained but I'm pretty sure in the future she's gonna have a place, a special place uh, in the video universe and probably if we can have the awakening make her be able to buff or maybe heals while she's playing music or whatever else, you know, something like that. I'm really looking forward for the her awakening, I hope it's gonna work well and um, yeah. I also think that it might be uh, a good class to play for people who want to start playing Black Desert Online, she's a simple character, she's a simple uh, race, she's a simple class, and she's pretty simple to use, even though it's simple enough, but it's still satisfying, which is, that's, I think, is a very big plus for me. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you guys so much for watching, and as usual, good luck, have fun, and have a good game.